Okay. okay. Not right. getting the dirty carpet in, are you? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. right at the front of it. Okay. All right, so I can go? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so this is the art storage box that I've been using for at least several months, right? It's been like half a year now? Yeah. No, almost? Yeah. This is the... It's the four drawer model, and there, okay, there are several uh, companies, I guess, that, or several different names putting these out, and um, a little bit different in in the styles, but basically the same thing. Uh, usually, they they usually offer either a four, three, five, six, or up to like a, I think even like a eight or ten drawer. But this is specifically, this is the Meaden brand. I went with that one because I've purchased Meaden pal uh, palettes and so forth. So, yeah, so this is the four drawer model. And uh, I thought I would uh, start off by with some measurements. From end to end is almost 16 inches. Shy of 10 inches. It's like nine and almost three quarters. Height is uh, between four and three quarters and four and a half inches. And you can stack these, but the thing is, I, to me, I, I don't, I only have the one, so I haven't tried it. I think if you stack it, they'll be resting on top of each other on these um, bars. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It has like. But I've seen but how did pictures, slide? but yeah, so that's not, it, it's not like a secure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, connection. So it, it could slide off. I've seen some pictures where it shows, oh, I just sprayed. Uh, some uh, where they've it's offset like, it. Offset, yeah, yeah. So that this butts up against there. So then it's kind of staggered. Yeah. Which but seems it, weird to me. But it would hang off the back. But I guess that would. So if you push it up against a wall, I guess it wouldn't really matter. It would all, you know, secure yeah. Oh, itself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you, that, that would be the way to do it. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's an idea if you have multiples, like, you know, two, three, or whatever. I might have to think it through. Yeah, but... Could be some I, other solutions. You know, this has worked fine for me so far. I th I'm at the point now where I'm starting to think, maybe get a second one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it, this is still working for me, so... Oh, and uh, also the inside. I wanted to measure just real quick to show you that the inside... From the bottom of the tray, the inside of the tray, to the top of the divider, there, it's like half an inch. Okay. Yeah. Watercolor pans are, let me see how deep those are, like a quarter of, of an, it's a smidge over a quarter of an inch deep. So that, that was my only concern when I ordered this was to make sure that they fit in there and it fits fine. And uh, I will show you more of the inside. Oh. Uh, yeah, this model has yeah. has the uh, uh, shiny knobs on there. Metal-like knobs. Metal-like knobs <laughs> on there. The other styles <laughs> had different uh, things, like a little, one had the wood. and. But it is wood, so you could always probably swap it out if you find different hardware, I guess. Oh, I guess you could. Well, it's, you no. Know, it's just regular wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You might end up with a hole, but, you know, if you want to get fancy. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, top drawer is where I have my water, the majority of my watercolor pans. I do have more in the second drawer, but those are uh, spe uh, half pans and also some specialty colors. These are my basic everyday and it is not organized by brand. It is organized by color. Starting here is yellows yeah. and browns, basically. And then some oranges, uh, but mostly yellows and browns here. Speaking of browns, make Speaking, sure you show off oh, your fingernail polish. It, it's kind of a brownie purple. It's a little, it's <laughs> almost like a, a more a mauve. Well, okay. Uh oh, look. I would call it mauve, oh, but yeah, yes, oh. it's it. If, in certain light, you can see that it, it looks brown. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. Okay, anyway. sorry. It's okay. 
Er, but the name of the water, uh, watercolor nail polish is Immortal, and the brand is L.A. Colors. Okay, so uh, okay. The next section is oranges and reds, and probably pinks, uh, or yeah, oranges, reds, and pinks. Nice. Uh, this middle section, I decided to um, uh, relegate that space for the neutrals, like grays and blacks. And Payne's gray and mm. so forth. And since I didn't have that, ma I didn't have a lot of those of that category. I figured that would be a good spot for there. Uh, this section is purples and blues, and you can see it has it goes down into um, mm. almost like teals there. But I think I put most of my teals actually with the greens here, didn't I? Okay, so viol uh, purples and blues and teals and greens. And look, I don't have as many. What? I don't. What's you up? would think I had more greens. I know. Considering green is like one of my favorite colors. And I even concentrated on greens that one month, remember? <laughs> I think What's I got I think that? I got you like three greens that one month, so I have to oh, keep man. adding to your greens. <laughs> okay, so, so this is. Remember, uh, yellow yeah, and blue and make is, green. When I um, start a new project, a painting project, all I do is um, select which colors I want to use. Each pan has the brand and the color name written on it. So this is Sap Green from uh, Da Vinci. And, you know, I'll just pull out whatever colors I'll be working with for the project. Oh, that one's soft. That one's a and brown. <laughs> It, it is a warm day, very warm. And uh, yeah, so whatever I'm working with for the day, I'll pull out. You know, it can be a few colors, it can be six colors, it might even be 12 colors. Um, and then I'll work with that on my workspace, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space if I just have, you know, I don't have a, a big plastic palette or a, a a metal tin palette or whatever t taking up space. I'm just uh, have the colors that I'm using yeah, yeah. for my project, and then I just put everything back. So uh, yeah, they they aren't in specific spots in here. They're just in their sections. So I just tried to organize them where it makes sense to me. So for example, the yellows and browns. I put the um, obviously the the cool. Uh, the cool yellows, the warmer yellows, and then the, the browns down there. So it's just what makes sense to me. Yeah, so that is, and then I don't know if you can see how it has the um, little lips, edges there that, I just wanted to show that it has those. That's where they rest in there. is uh, where I have my Holbein half pan set and that was my set of 24 Holbein tubes that I poured into half pans. That was my first um, set of tubes. And here are some specialty uh, paints here. So, oh, these are just the, a couple of dust that I couldn't fit into uh, Producer Mike's palette. Yeah, we did a little rearranging, right? Well, we're thinking about moving you up to like, oh, the, the yeah, large size yeah. palette. Oh, so you already pre-poured me some, right? Yeah, yeah. they're here. And they oh. just they wouldn't fit in your small palette, so they're waiting. They're delivered. Yeah. <laughs> so these That's my are collection. here. Print mm -hmm. Talking, Starry Night. Nice. Uh, they're shades of gold. Uh, and then these, next to them, are from Daniel Smith's Luminescent line of paints. And some of them are the dual chromes and some are the iridescents. Uh, and those were a gift from a viewer. Yeah, so that was really cool. And I, I've since, uh, I did do the video where I tried those out. And then these are some more, Kur no, these are not Kuretake. These are Boku Undo. Uh, the shadow. The shadow blacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, so I might um, move some things around and maybe put some uh, pencils and, or pens down there because you'll see later the, um, well, let's imagine. Well, this is the pens, but I think the pencils are the ones that are getting more uh, uh, crowded. But the pens here are, uh, what I have are the uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens in black and in sepia. And uh, they're actually, they have different sets. Uh, so they offer like their pens in like fine liner sets or they'll offer it in like, I don't know what they call it, it like where it'll have chisel tip and brush tip and things like that. So this felt, is, is uh, not like a felt tip. So this is not the, the regular fine liner set. This this is actually it, it comes with a brush tip, a soft brush tip, a soft calligraphy tip, and a one point five bullet tip. Okay. So it's not like the Pigma Microns here that are fine liner sizes. But yeah, they do offer uh, I think another style set in their black as well. <laughs> This is the sepia that has, and this is more like a fine, it does have some fine liners. It has a 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7. Okay. And then it also has a brush tip. So. And these are two Fudenosuke from Tom, was it Tombo? Yeah, Tombo. Okay. And those are uh, fine, like calligraphy tip. Type one, and and one is green barreled, one is blue barreled. That designates uh, the difference because one is uh, softer than the other, so there's a hard and a soft. Okay. Yeah, and then this is the set of Koi coloring brush pens. These are watercolor uh, brush pens in shades of gray, and it is water based, so they are not. These are not waterproof. I use them after I've painted for uh, like detailing or on um, pieces where I'm not obviously not going to watercolor on. So, so I've used those uh, a number of times too. And what is that on my finger? Uh, it's, ice. <laughs> it's icing. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, icing uh -huh. from, from the uh, Krispy Kreme donut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Raised donuts. I cut, I cut up with okay. <laughs> Like I'm growing the scales. Honking. Yeah, I know. I'm shedding scales. I know that I've done that before too. Or if you <laughs> use the glue or something, like Elmer's glue, and you're like, oh, oh okay, I'll get on that. Okay, and that. here are uh, some Pigma Micron Falling fine apart. liners in various sizes. So, nice. so that's that. And oh, I guess I could, these are just foam. Uh, I had a piece of foam that I cut so that I could um, just to stop them from. From doing that, and last four. This is where I'm getting filled up because, well, I mean, I when I bought my set of polychromos, Faber-Castell polychromos colored pencils. I just bought the 12 color set, the, the basic, um, that was the smallest set. And that was all I needed really because I, I was mainly using the color pencils for detailing on my watercolor, watercolor paintings. So, you know, I, trying to be, trying to um, be good and, you know, only get what I needed and not, not get like the hundred and yeah, well, 70 yeah. color yeah. Nine, what it was. <laughs> um but the thing full on thing is um an ink works viewer very generously has sent me uh some other uh pencils for me to try out and have fun with and uh show you guys and um so there are actually more polychromos colors that she sent me and those, I believe, are all I put them in here. And then also, uh, these are some uh, Derwent drawing pencils. And look, it come, they come in different colors. And I, I think that's going to be fun to try out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and um, 
Uh, what else? There's, uh, there's a couple of Prismacolors. There's some more Derwent, Lightfast. Uh, there's uh, Luminance from uh, Karin Dosh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Stop and yeah. then over here is Karin Dosh um, Pro Neo Color to Aquarelle. So Aquarelle is like water. water yeah, so uh, it must be a water color. based or water so this, dilutable. It's, it's water soluble. So okay, there water you go. Water soluble. So you can like draw with it, I believe, um, but and then add water, or you can take a wet brush and just apply it mm, to the yep, stick, and yep. then paint with that. At least so, that's what I've heard. I haven't tried these yet because, you know, I'm not that familiar with these. But you know, yeah, obviously. I wonder I'm if it's similar to, to the Daniel Smith. Thing that remember they had that color stick or whatever that was. That's just watercolor in a stick form. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun yeah. to experiment with for yeah. sure. So there's quite a few things yeah. there. So Try yeah. Out. Anyway, so yeah, really nice of that uh, person to send me all of these, yeah, these cool. fun things to try out. Experiment. Yeah. And that's not even counting the elegant writer she sent me that is on a blister card that I uh, I won't open until I actually. Um, I wanted to do a video on it and show, you know, opening it and then trying it out for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool idea. Yeah. So that's yeah. why that that that's is fun. not in here. So yeah. surprise coming up. But yeah, so yeah, definitely I am planning on making uh, some vi uh, video content using these items um, that I haven't used yet. So that's that's going to be uh, sometime uh, upcoming uh, weeks. I don't know. I've got to do the um, the seasonal stuff yeah. for the fall. That's right. Uh, yeah. Fall's coming, y'all. <laughs> fall.